Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh. Baal Shem Yahweh Shah, Baal Shem Yahweh And double honors to the apostles of the great millstone and salutations to the Yaakim out there that are continuing to furthering this ministry of Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, the begotten Son, and um, even unto those that continue to learn and grow in this ministry <clears throat> as we provide you with it. You know, whether we go into articles or whether we speak up on videos as I'm doing right now. And I just want to respond to this video that I caught on TikTok, as you can already see. And this man, he's like in a court hearing and he exposes his prime minister as well as Klaus Schwab about something. And that something is a book which was written by Klaus Schwab. And uh, the title of the book is called Words That I Will Not Say and The Great Reset. So this book was handed to the prime minister then wrote a letter back. Excuse me, wrote a letter to uh, Klaus Schwab and saying that this book is very good for future purposes. So everything's already being aired out. And um, <clears throat> you have all of these different outlets, man. You have TikTok, as you can see that I'm on. You have um, another website called um, Rumble. And I found out about Rumble because uh, certain brothers have posted an article or a video. I can't quite recall what it was. But that's how I found out about it. So, um, and then you also got Brighty on as well. And all of these other outlets, like I've said, and you can just upload these videos on these outlets and um, you don't got to worry about it being taken down, basically. And it's videos like these that people upload. And this is where people get their valuable information from. Because, you know, YouTube is a part of an elk or a group of people that are here to push lies and, and, and all kind of shenanigans under the behest of the uh, shadow government. And people still use YouTube. People still do videos on YouTube or what have you. But, you know, YouTube, you know, we know how they work. We know how they roll. But when you really do a video that hits home, that strikes a nerve, they take it down. So there you go. But eventually, um, as the Bible has it, that in due time that Esau, especially beginning with the top tier of Edom, will be exposed. Okay? More in particular, the so-called Jews. Okay? So now what I want to do is get to some scriptures. And the first scripture that I want to read, and I want to say this too, man, um, the scriptures is so consistent. The Bible as a whole is a con very consistent book, especially in the times that we're living in right now in a prophetic sense, because, uh, you know, you can read certain scriptures like the ones that I'm about to read now in the book of Psalms. David prophesies that this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to come together privately. Searching out things that are evil for mankind and set up snares as it reads of what is it they commune of laying snares privately so being that that's the case which is the reality of the matter we don't have to be in these secretive rooms we don't gotta protest like um like this uh this this dude his name is um called Luke Radowski, and uh he was known and I think he still probably does it like he's known for um getting his guys out there to go into these um these Bilderberg meetings. And, uh, you know, these guys that get into these Bilderberg meetings, they'll come outside of the building and they'll talk about and lie to the people or lie to his people or people that have protested there against the building and saying that this is what they spoke about when in all reality they didn't talk about that. So we don't have to do what these guys do. People like Luke Wadowski, where they got to go protesting and uh, and, and um, literally go up to the building to actually get information 
as to what they're talking about. We can just read the scriptures and find out that this is exactly what's going on in the room, specifically. It's the Bible predicted by the men of the Lord. I mean, we could talk about prophets like Isaiah, prophets like Jeremiah, and even David. David was not just a king and a warrior, but as well as he was a prophet. Here it goes once again. As I'm going to read, this is um, Psalm 64, verse 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter, and they commune of laying snares privately, and they say, Who shall see them? And they search out iniquities, and they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. So yeah, the scripture says that they would pretty much um, come together in, in this kind of fashion. In, in other words, in, in privacy, in secrecy, and they will do what I've just read in verse 6. Okay, they're not going to think about doing righteousness, but rather wickedness. And this is what they're doing now. And, and the snare, the ultimate snare that they got going on right now for people to take is this um, Black Widow spider juice. And people have taken it. So many people have taken this thing and it's, and it's affected them in many different ways. So um, now let's go and get something else. I want to also go and read the book of 2 Thessalonians 2. And we'll begin by reading verse 5. It says, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed. And whom shall the Lord consume with the spirit of his mouth? And this is metaphorical. Well, actually it's twofold. Because um, the way that that's being done, you have a group of men such as ourselves that are taking a stand, breaking down the scriptures the right way, and also revealing this devil. And that's one way. But guess what thing that we're using? We're using the Bible. And we're using the Bible to reveal this man. And physically, this will be done when the Lord makes a second return. When those laser beams come out of those chariots, as it reads, that the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So this is what these devils are coming with. These are leaders to come with. So again, as I say, the scriptures have already revealed to us what these devils would be getting up to in these last days. <clears throat> without having to actually see these men do these things physically. That's why it also reads, and this is going to be the last precept, verse 2, it says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in the darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which you have spoken in the ears in the closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And everybody knows now, of what the elite are doing. Okay, and I have to say, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to stop the video. Um, So like I was saying, a lot of people are waking up to this man, and that's all because of, of you know, obviously, and I have them include, because you have other Edomites revealing other Edomites. In half cases, you have to have that. You got to have Edomites revealing other Edomites, man, because, you know, Edomites recognize what an Edomite is capable of. But most importantly, though, as I've just read, the Bible has revealed the so-called white man more on depthly. And we know exactly what his real nationality is. He isn't white. He isn't Caucasian. Well, you can call him that because it just simply means the, the, uh, the dwellers of the rocks, the dwellers of the caves. But uh, their biblical nationality is that of Esau or Edom. And uh, when you read about the Edomites in the Bible, the Heavenly Father does not speak well of these people whatsoever. All right. And in, in the book of Malachi 1 verse 4, it makes it very clear that these are the people that are of the border of wickedness. You know, they may say, well, how could you say such a thing? Well, your government is showing you that you're the wicked. And even the works that your, your forefathers have done to other nations, including um the so-called black men, the so-called Latino man, and as well as the uh, the so-called North American Indians. 
how you've taken their lands and their resources because they took in our lands too which our ultimate land is Jerusalem they took that over and lied to the world and saying that they were the people of the Bible when in fact they're a bunch of fraudsters we could talk about slavery we, we can even talk about the Tuskegee experiment as well so we know based on your actions your actions are proven and shown the Bible and, and being correct about you who you want I'm talking about you so-called white people all right you're the biblical Edomites and the biblical Edomites as it is said in the scriptures in the Bible that they are a, a base people and as well as a wicked people and your actions are showing it through your government and as well as even the regular ones of yours so that's all I gotta say so with that I want to give all of the praises to the most high and the son Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Arakar HaKwadash and with that I say Shalom